Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a fluid transport uh, practice problem for Physics 7b. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. So this is a final exam question and the problem statement goes as follows. So the fluid circuit below has reached a steady state. Consider the Bernoulli equation as applied to different segments along the fluid circuit and they're giving us three points, one, two, and three. Uh, the pipe at the top is at a distance h above the bottom. The pipe has some resistance. Uh, the cross-sectional area of the pipe at the top is uh, smaller than at the bottom. So as you can see, I have everything written down over here. Uh, this is sort of at least simple in terms of the instructions. All we have to do is say plus, minus, or zero. Those are our three options, and we need to basically fill in this chart over here. Um, so let's just go ahead and, um, and do that. Uh, just to be clear, the water, according to the picture, is going like this, and there is some resistance you know, there is some total resistance going through the pipe. So let's just get started. Um, I think that the easiest way to solve this problem would be to just uh, look at columns because that way we just need to apply our Bernoulli equation three times and then we're going to be done. So let me just write the Bernoulli equation. Um, B squared. negative IR. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started. So let's start with points one to two because that's the first thing that shows up here. Um, so delta P, I can't say anything yet because I need to check out everything else. So going from one to two, which I'm gonna use, you know, this color for, we do have a change in height going from here to here. Um, there is a, you know, this is at a higher altitude, so delta Y is positive because you went from the bottom to the top. So this would be positive over here. So uh, positive here for delta PE. Now this term over here, we do have a change in area. So the area goes uh, from big to small. Now, just remembering that because of continuity, A1, you know, B1 has to be equal to A2, B2. If we go from a big area to a smaller area, then our velocity needs to go up like this. This means that final minus initial is going to be positive as well because you went from uh, slow to fast. So this is a positive as well. Now, uh, there is no pump uh, going from one to two because even though we have a pump over here, if you start at one and then just follow the flow to two, then you don't have a pump. So this is actually zero. And now we are left, oh, oh no, this is the pump right here. And now we're basically just left with the IR term. Something that we sort of need to pay attention to is the fact that this is plus and our equation has it as a, as a minus. So really what we're looking at is just the value of I times R and not considering this negative sign that just happens to come up with the um, equation. R is always going to be positive no matter what because it's a resistance and uh, if it were negative it would basically imply that you are creating energy. Um, so R is always going to be positive. It's It just can't be negative. It doesn't matter what it is on the equation. I, however, can be negative. So I is basically going to be positive if you're going with the flow and if we happen to be going against the flow then that would mean that our i is negative so in this case i is positive because if you start at one and end at two you're going in the direction of the flow 
so that means plus plus so that makes uh, i times r a plus over here like this so now uh, we have plus plus and we uh, also have a uh, plus over here so let's see oh well i think this solves what this is this has to be a negative right because um this entire term over here is going to be negative plus plus with a negative this is a negative number this one is not showing up so we need negative in order to have negative plus plus is equal to negative so this term has to be negative and it has to actually be greater than these two combined because the only thing that's in this side of the equation is a negative number um so yeah that's how we know that it has to be a uh, plus another way to look at it honestly is if you just make everything equal to zero then you will have delta p plus rho g delta y plus one half rho del v squared plus i r is equal to zero um this is positive this is positive this is positive so this has to be negative if it's going to be equal to zero because we don't have a pump over here so yeah delta p has to be negative all right so let's just go ahead and do the next one so starting at one and ending up at point number three so starting over here and then just going around like this ending up at point number three so if we start at one end up at three uh delta p is still gonna show up i can't just um cancel that out we don't have a change in height because uh, we're starting at ending at the ch at the same height so that doesn't show up um so this is actually zero we don't have a change in area because this area stays the same here on the bottom part so this is actually gonna be um zero as well so this is um zero we don't have a pump because we are not um, actually crossing the pump over here we're not doing that so this is um, zero as well and then IR because we went with the flow then it's going to also be uh, positive IR is going to be positive uh, because we went with the flow and resistance is always positive by definition and we don't have a pump like this so now that we have everything figured out what would be the sign of delta p well again if you just take the terms that don't cancel out and just make them equal to zero you'll see that delta p um you know just going from one to three and this was let's just be very clear that this is one to two plus i r is equal to zero we said that this has to be positive that means that this has to be negative in order for everything to be equal to zero so this is also um, a negative another way to look at it is uh, if you go from three to one you're actually gaining energy because the only thing that you have is a bump everything else would cancel out so if you're gaining energy when you go from three to one then you have to be losing that energy density if you go the other way because energy has energy density needs to be conserved this is a closed circuit so that's another way to look at it uh, but you can always just fall back on the uh, positive and negative parts on your equation so now going from one to one this is an interesting scenario because if you start and end at one then delta p is just p1 minus p1 and i actually know as a matter of fact that this has to be equal to zero like this uh, just because by definition um all of these are state functions so if you start at n at the same point then that's what's gonna happen um on the same note all of these are state functions so uh same reasoning will make it so that these two are zero if you start at end at the same point then nothing really changed your height didn't change your um your velocity didn't change 
Uh, but these are not state functions, and I think that maybe this was supposed to be the tricky part of this problem over here. If you start at one and you end up at one, then um, you are gonna have both a resistance and a pump. So you're gonna have a pump that you crossed, and you're also gonna have this term over here. Uh, if you go with the current, then these two are uh, positive and positive, and you basically crossed a pump regardless of how you went. So this is also going to be, you know, a um, positive term. Now, uh, so this basically solves the problem. Um, you know, I hope it was useful and whatever. The only thing that I want to point out is that there is um, sort of an alternative solution that came out uh, during this final exam and it was you know, maybe showed up uh, starting from the fact that we weren't very specific about this. Uh, if this is your final answer, then this is okay. This was the intended answer. But on the instructions, they weren't very specific on, for example, going from one to two. They weren't super specific if they meant going this way like this or this way like this. Now, obviously, this is going to change everything basically because if you go upwards you're gonna get what I did which is going with the flow if you go the other route then first of all um, you have a decrease over here because you went down instead of up uh, you have a decrease over here because you're going from fast to slow instead of the opposite way and this would be negative because you would be going against the flow that the problem is stating you so if you decide to go against the flow, uh, what I'm trying to say is every single answer over here uh, in terms of pluses and minuses would be reversed. Now, obviously, because we weren't very specific on the instructions, whether you went from one to one like this or like this, both of them are perfectly valid answers. Um, so just just be mindful of that. We, we of course, didn't... Uh, deduct any points so long as you were consistent with your pluses and your minuses and your logic was okay and you remember that you know if you're going against the current that changes this if you're going uh, from fast to slow it's going to be the opposite sign of slow to fast whatever then that's gonna be okay so that's the only thing that I sort of wanted to mention that you know kind of happened to this problem but I, I, I would say that maybe only one person did it this way and they got full credit, of course. Their answer is a right answer. We're not specifying uh, how we wanted you to do your Bernoulli equation. And I thought that that was very clever because there was absolutely nothing wrong with just being original and just going against the flow. Uh, I would personally not recommend it, but you know, I thought it was very clever and it's something that just kind of stayed with me for years. Uh, so anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I hope that you found it helpful in your studying. If it was, please make sure to leave a like. If you have any comments, please make sure to write them down. We do read the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video.